homemade ink recipes. Brown. Boil down walnut or butternut holes that have been mashed first. Add vinegar and salt to boil to set. Black. Add indigo or lamp black suet. Blue. Powdered indigo, two parts. One part matter, one part brawn. Mix with water, let stand, then strain it well. Now those ain't some sort of synesthesia inducing tea names, but still a nice correlation. Even farmers had their private little canals for hauling heavy loads. A sluice filled with water, a cargo boat floating in it. Three times it drops. This overshot type wheel was run completely by gravity, the weight of the water. To me, this is a beautiful cascading waterfall, but seriously, all types of mill wheels require water high to operate. After rogation tide walk and before the sun had set, the Adams family went back with the Blakes to view the new mill wheel. What a fine wheel, exclaimed Mr. Adams. It should give you extraordinary power. Yes, said Isaac. It's an overshot wheel and they say they are the most efficient. With it we can keep water power locked up in the mill pond till we want to use it. Even when the stream ceases to flow, we can still have water for the mill. The first thing I shall attach to the wheel will be bellows for the forge. Things were sledded during summer by stone boat. Almost no heavy farm loads were hauled on wheels. That was put off till winter when the loads could be slid across the countryside on sled runners. For each wagon the old time farmer had, he had about four sleds. Even smaller stones were thrown on a flat wooden slab known as a stone boat and slid across the grass during summer with much less effort than it would take to lift them onto a wagon and cart them on wheels. On November 2nd, 2013, Forrest said, Out of the night that covers me, dark as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. Here is how the well sweep helped to build the dug well. And here is the new well with Rachel lowering the bucket. And so a crotch tree was found and a big spruce sweep was pinioned into the crotch. Another spruce pole hung from the sweep tip and a bucket was hung from that. The butt end of the pole was so heavy that it lifted the bucket up even with water or earth in it. And it was always easier to pull that sweep down by your own natural weight than it would be to pull the loaded bucket up using your strength instead of your weight. Talk about guilty by innuendo, Eric, you rascal. Early American farm life in 1805 depended on water high to create power via gravity and of course to also manage heavy loads by using sluice boxes, as you've seen. Eric mentions heavy loads specifically on numerous occasions throughout Diary of an Early American Boy because early life depended on figuring out ways to move extremely heavy things. And as you can see here, including moving low water high. 